everybody. Thank you so much for checking out View Golf. I'm Trent Roman, PGA Golf Professional here for View Golf. And today we're coming at you with the new TaylorMade Sim 2, Sim 2 Max, and Sim 2 Draw Bias Driver Reviews. I'm going to hit the Sim 2 driver for you. I'm going to get a little bit of by the numbers for you, how that driver performed to me, and then I'll give you some technology uh, tidbits of all three driver types, tell you a little bit about what's changed in the new SIM2 driver from previous generations. I'll tell you about a little bit about the technologies that they brought along uh, from the previous generations, and then get you a little up close uh, look at the golf clubs, great looking clubs. Really enjoyed hitting them. So, uh, without further ado, let's do this. everybody I've got the three different head types from your tailor-made sim 2 drivers uh, in my hands I've got this the regular sim 2 that's the one that I hit uh, on video it is gonna be your lower spinning lower launching uh, head type of the three it's got the lightest weight in the rear that 16 uh, gram weight. Anytime you put uh, a heavier weight in the rear, you'll see that MOI, again, moment of inertia that we talk about a lot. You'll see that MOI go up, but you also see the launch and the spin go up. So that lighter weight will keep that spin down, not quite as forgiving, uh, but going to be a lower launching, lower spinning head, maybe for your faster swing speed players, your steeper angle of attack players. 460 cc, so still that largest uh, regulation head size, and 45.75 inches in length. Going to be one of your longest drivers on the market. Um, your pings tend to be, uh, I think, around 45 and a quarter. Your Titleists are about 45 and a half, so uh, it's a longer uh, driver length for sure. It's kind of that's kind of companies and tour players are going kind of going that direction just to get you a little extra length. Um, let's see, I've got my D or draw bias head. It is uh, a higher launching, higher MOI head, uh, but it's also got that 22 gram weight that is positioned a little bit more towards the heel. It's going to weigh that heel down, going to make the toe lighter. Anytime that toe is lighter, you see that draw bias. Toe's gonna close a little faster, and you're going to get that draw uh, pattern on your shots. If you are a slicer of the golf ball, fader of the golf ball, and you wanna turn that into a draw, we see usually about a 20 yard or so change or improvement in that pattern, so that draw bias head would work well for you if you are um, a right-handed player that loses, it, loses the ball right, or vice versa for that left-handed player. Again, a 460 cc head in that draw bias driver. And then finally, the max, the highest MOI driver in the Sim 2 series. It's got a 24 gram weight. Can't see that down there. It's 24 gram weight and has the heaviest weight low and in the rear of that head. It's going to increase that MOI, make it more forgiving, but it is going to produce that higher launch and higher spin. So if you are maybe a slower swing speed player, somebody that just can't figure out how to hit it straight, you're gonna look towards that Sim Max head, higher MOI, 460 cc's, the largest head size, and the same stock length of 45 and three quarters inches. The heads come in three different loft options, nine, 10 and a half, and 12 degrees, but I really like the adjustability of the uh, tailor-made drivers especially, but in that 
hosel setting, you can go up or down two degrees. So that can really, as a fitter, makes my job a lot easier. And as a player, you can adjust a, a loft almost to hit any ball flight, any height launch, um, and, and adjust those spin rates as well uh, with that hosel setting. So I really like that. All right, let's talk a little bit about the technologies that are in these new SIM2 drivers. What's new, okay? Always had a carbon fiber gloss finish head. Very, very popular. They've added carbon fiber to the sole, okay? What's that gonna do for you? It's gonna make the driver feel lighter. It felt a lot lighter to me. I really liked, uh, I really liked that light feeling. I felt like I could move it faster. Um, and that's kind of the whole idea behind it. You move that, take that weight out, use that carbon fiber in the sole. You can use some of it, put that weight in the rear, but also make it a lightweight feeling driver. Um, one drawback that I'm not a big fan of is I, I really liked the adjustability in the old tailor-made drivers. Um, do not have the sliding weights. There used to be in, in previous generations of tailor-made drivers, a, uh, a heel-to-toe sliding weight, and then in many of them there was a uh, rear, a, a front-to-rear sliding weight, so give you adjustability uh, in launch conditions and spin rate, and also flight uh, left and right or shot pattern. It, uh, they don't have that anymore in that head, and I really. I kind of miss it. So that's about my only real uh, drawback of these drivers is that they don't have any sliding uh, weights. And then you've got uh, speed pocket slots in these heads. Uh, that's, that's a new thing for the tailor-made SIM2 drivers. Okay, more technology. SIM inertia generator. This stuff is kind of found online, so I'll just read it off to you. Asymmetric inertia generator to provide faster club head speed through advanced geometry and aerodynamics. A lightweight carbon sole that we talked about, that carbon fiber sole, allows them to redistribute that mass low and in the rear in those uh, tungsten weights, the 16, 18, and 20, 24, 22, I think it was, gram weights in those different head types. Uh, that sim inertia generator that's low and in the rear of the head back here. Uh, speed injected twist face, they've had that in, in several generations of tailor-made drivers. Um, this, uh, this one is coming in on the sides here, in the side and in the toe area. It improves ball speed by calibrating each head to the threshold, um, the legal threshold, um, to correct uh, for corrective face curvature and protecting against heel and toe misses. So they get that, um, the face to be kind of balanced with that speed injection uh, so that your ball speeds are consistent across the face, as well as the twist face uh, technology that a lot of players either hit it high and off the toe or low and off the heel. It helps curve that ball back online a little bit. They've had that in the last couple generations of tailor-made drivers, so that, that twist face technology is, is not new. We tested a little bit in, in some previous videos. You can check that out. Not In my experience, I haven't noticed a big difference with the twist face technology. I don't notice the ball curving back online a lot, um, but it must work a little bit. Otherwise, they wouldn't keep it in their drivers. So it's here again in the SIM2. Uh, through slot speed pocket. Most flexible speed pocket design engineered for maximized ball speeds produce additional forgiveness on low face strikes. So you do have that speed pocket down there low on the face and then split mass weighting featuring TPS weight on the sole of the club, 1622, there you go again, 1622 and 24 uh, gram steel weights uh, in the rear of these drivers um, to promote forgiveness, speed, and launch conditions while allowing precise target swing weights during custom assembly. So 
That's a little bit of your technology, a little bit of what's new. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the numbers, okay? I swung that club, the SIM2 driver, at an average of 113.9 miles per hour. I carried it 302 with a 326.3 total distance average. That's, that's long for me. That is re that's really good. Um, I really enjoyed hitting it. 170.8 ball speed on average off the club face and 20, uh, 2647, 2647 spin. Uh, and a 12.1 degree launch angle. So performance-wise, um, gonna be one of my top two performers uh, that I've tested so far, in, oh, even over the Ping G425. But let's take a look at, as I've gotta do, My personal driver, part, it's custom fit to me. I've tested it for a while. These are my personal driver numbers right here, the Titleist TSI-3. So video not a comparison, but just for the viewers out there that kind of want to see what my driver performs like versus the one I tested, the SIM, uh, SIM 2. My driver I swung at 113.7, so 0.2 miles an hour, basically the same speed. At 170.8 uh, mile an hour ball speed, about the same thing, 305.6 carry and 329.1. So two yards longer with my personal driver over a TaylorMade uh, SIM 2 that I, I put together uh, to, but not completely custom fit to me. 2558 spin on my driver. I really got, I've got that dialed in pretty well with a good shaft um, that fits my swing. So what am I telling you? Um, honestly, great driver. It's hot off the face, um, pretty low spinning, low launching uh, with that sim driver, uh, and, and, and good performing. It goes a long way, feels lightweight. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. I definitely think if you're in the market for a new driver in 2021, it's worth putting it in a lineup and comparing it against the G425, against the TSI drivers from Titleist, against any top driver, um, I think you'll like the way it performs in those head-to-head -head matchups. Think about what you're looking for in the technology department, and uh, think about what you need as a player. Are you a player that slices it? You're gonna look for that draw bias. Are you a player that might need to find a fairway, just keep it in play? You're looking for the SIM2 Max. Or, like myself, if you're looking for a little lower spinning, lower launching head, you're gonna go just for the regular SIM2. But really cool, great drivers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button below. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It's club release season, so we're coming at you with weekly content, club reviews, golf instruction, anything to help you play better golf in 2021. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.